Jessica, and today we're going to be talking about your marriage options. Oh my gosh. And by marriage options, I mean we're going to go through some of the characters that you can marry and tell you about them. One of them is actually named Mary, but we're not going to go over her today. But anyway, hi, welcome. We're going to be doing some bachelors and some bachelorettes today, and I'm going to tell you about them and what they like and what they don't like and all sorts of things. Uh, I have four characters for y'all today. I know that we had been kind of doing like general characters, and then I was just like, Star Dog says this is my first time to the stream. Well, welcome. I've been following this game for forever. I'm glad. I just want to say, please don't break my heart and not put in good controller support and a zoom out function. We are going to have good controller support. We have had some issues with that in our early access build right now, but we are trying to fix that. We're kind of hoping that we're going to have like a general control scheme, but hopefully be able to make it that you can customize that if you would like to. So hopefully it should be covered on that. As for a zoom out function, we have actually recently gone to a new camera, like zoom, I guess it would be called. And I think that you won't need a zoom out function if you had that. So I would probably wait until you see, um, I'll probably build, uh, play the newest build at some point on these podcasts that before you think about that. So anyway, everybody introducing Lily Dennis. So this is um, of the first, I guess the first bachelorette I'm going to introduce. But if you've been with this podcast for a while, you know about a good amount of these people. But this is Lily. Uh, she's 23. She's the owner of a small flower and sapling boutique. And uh, I guess you would call it downtown Bedford Valley, which is actually really depressing because they're downtown. I guess they're downtowns pretty decent size for a small town. Anyway, even though she grew up in the north, she visited Bedford Valley every ever every summer yeah, since she was a child to stay with her uncle who's the mayor. After graduating college, she decided to open up her own store because she comes from a uh, affluent family. She does she does everything you'd think an affluent girl would do as for hobbies, painting, piano, stuff like that. However, her feelings about her behavior and her likes and dislikes and things um, are more complicated than you would first expect. And uh, that's kind of what her character arc deals with a little bit. Personality, uh, she's incredibly kind hearted. And despite the fact that her family really wants you out of town, Lily is still fairly nice to you and helpful, uh, especially when it comes to flowers and saplings. Uh, she tends to go out of her way for other people, which is sometimes appreciated, other times not so much. She has a keen sense what others are feeling though, making it hard to hide things from her and especially hard to lie. She seems to be one of the only people in town who truly gets along with her cousin Lyd um, Lydia, I don't know why I just remembered, who is Rosalind's daughter, which if you know anything about Rosalind would tell you why people don't get along with Linda. Oro says, she seems like somebody who you could just rob and steal and she would still be happy about it. <laughs> Lily would try to figure out a way to think about this in a positive light. <laughs> Lily is available for the male player character to date. Some of her likes and dislikes, as you would expect, Lily likes flowers quite a lot. What do you know? She sells, she, yeah, she sells a flower shop. She sells flowers at a flower shop and she likes to receive them. I, I know I'm just as amazed as you guys. However, her favorite flower is definitely the sunflower. She also likes desserts, teas, and being shown cute animals. So if you want to just run up to her with your chicken, you could do that. She is, however, not a big fan of horseradish or fish. Where you can find her, hey, since she owns the flower shop and you guys need to buy flowers and saplings and stuff, she will oftentimes be, you know, in her flower shop. Wow. If you can't find her there, she has a rather nice house uh, south of town, which I actually believe her house is just north of your farm. And she has a flower garden to the side and she can sometimes be found with Lydia too, because yeah. But hey, this is Randy. He is 27 years old, woo. He is the district photographer for the county of Monroe, which is where Bedford Valley is. Uh, as such, it's his, his job to document any historical events within county limits, which apparently means taking 
a bunch of inane photos of animals and other happenings at festivals because those are the only things of notice that happen in Bedford Valley. He can't decide whether he likes his job or thinks it's absolutely ridiculous. Maybe both. Either way, he shows up in Bedford fairly often and he's grown to like the place quite a bit. Randy, personality-wise, he has a bit of a sarcastic streak, but overall, he's a pretty uh, jovial guy. He likes to sit back and relax and mostly down a few beers. You'll find him at the inn a lot. He likes to frequent the inn. He, he has a tendency, he'll stand up for people who he really likes and kind of stand up against people that he's not so fond of, though he kind of forgets to uh, do this for himself. <laughs> um, he has a bit of a self-deprecation streak, the reason of which you can learn more about if you uh, get to know Randy better. Randy is available for both player genders. His likes and dislikes are he likes beer, what a surprise, and peaches quite a bit, which is an odd combination, but Randy doesn't care that it's an odd combination. He is lactose intolerant though, so don't give him anything with dairy in it, and that includes cooked dishes that have dairy in it. <laughs> So he actually has quite an extensive list of dislikes and hated items because he can't eat a lot of the stuff that you guys are going to try to give him, so be careful. Places you can find him, Randy does not live in town. As such, he comes on uh, Wednesdays through Saturdays and spends a lot of time in the town square and at the bar, like I said. But he's pretty much at every festival ever, so you can find him there because, you know, that's his job and all that. <laughs> Oro, I just trust him. I feel like he's the camera, not the person. Yeah, you're right, Oro. Randy is actually a puppet <laughs> that the spirit inside his camera moves. You you guessed the plot of Wild Season. We might as well not come out with the game. Just don't worry about it. Uh, colorfully minded, there are not recipes for lactose-free food. That's actually a really good idea, though. We should consider that for next game. But thankfully, there, there are a lot of dishes you can give him that don't have milk or cheese in it. So maybe it's a camera strap. <laughs> yeah, those would be some pretty tight camera straps, gotta say. But he doesn't even trust his own pants to stay up. <laughs> you know, you know. In Bedford Valley, maybe sometimes you can't trust your own pants to stay up. Stardog mm, will be keeping an eye on him, sketchy looking. <laughs> oh, Randy, you're, you're being made fun of. My poor child. <laughs> Do not worry, it'll be okay. <laughs> Moving on, it's Jessica. Oh my goodness. So if you guys have played the early access build, uh, you know Jessica pretty well. But Jessica, she's 22, so she's a little bit younger than who I've introduced you to for so far. Jessica Kid is Jane and Carl's youngest child and William's younger sister. That whole family uh, owns the general store, so you should like them. She attended university in the city for four years, but after failing to immediately get into law school after graduating, she moved back to Bedford Valley to help her parents out with the general store. And she's the uh, first person who really tries to reach out to you as a person in Bedford Valley, even though her methods might be a little bit uh, heavy handed at times. Yeah. Personality wise, uh, Jessica is very spirited and seems to have a cheery personality when it comes to just about anything. She portrays a lot of confidence in herself and her actions, though whether this is entirely genuine is kind of up to for debate. She often uses slang in her speech, and if you receive text messages from her, they will be very textified, I guess would be the word. She and her brother seem to have a good relationship, even though they're constantly taking shots at each other, and she's she gets along with uh, most of the people in town, so... Yeah, Jessica's available to both player genders. Likes and dislikes, uh, Jessica is a big fan of pancakes and jam. Not necessarily together, the item pancakes or items that are jam. She absolutely hates fish though. She hates fish a lot. Um, do not give her fish. But places to find her, she helps out the general store so you'll see her there a lot. On her days off though, she tends to stick around her house or go up to the plateau. But Colorfully Minded says that she is queen and Jessica's pretty great, I agree with you. Shadow says, oh god Jessica, I can't take her hair. <laughs> it's just so poofy in the back. Could be hiding something in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I, Jessica just like leans down her head and just like starts taking out, you know, like kitchen sinks and golf clubs, you know, all of that. She is, she is a cutie. I really have, I'm really excited for you guys to see her other outfits because she pulls her hair back in some of them and she's super cute. So yeah, that's Jessica. And as I said before, Jessica's pretty prevalent in the early access build right now. So she's around. She, uh takes you to some places, she shows you a port, 
she gets you a fishing rod, go up to a plateau, you know, all that. Happens within the first hour of the game. I don't think I can, I don't think it's spoilers to say what happens in the first hour of the game. Anyway, I'm going to get to our final person. Are you guys ready? Because this is a person I actually have not spoken about, like, pretty much at all on this podcast, so I'm really excited about it. <laughs> Meet Lucas. He's 25 years old, and he's kind of an anomaly. Um, if you've played the early access build um, up until now, uh, you'll notice that you haven't seen him, and that's because he does not actually live in Bedford Valley yet. He moves into town pretty soon after the restaurant shows up, I guess, opens up. It's only after Lee Wolf um, opens this new restaurant that Lucas comes barreling in, and uh, even though he flat out demands the job and pretty much bullies himself into the job, he proceeds to be really, really terrible at it. He's up for numerous worst waiter ever and probably pretty bad person to awards. Lucas never wants to deal with you or anyone else ever at all. Personality wise, needless to say, Lucas is not very hospitable or kind. Most of the time, he won't say more than five words to you. If you do manage to crack his shell a little, you might figure out why, but good luck. Yeah, he's available for um, the female player character. Likes and dislikes. Don't tell Lucas that I told you this, but he actually really likes cookies and honey tea. He will wonder how in the world you figured that out. Just don't, don't rat me out. He doesn't really like a whole lot else. He's pretty neutral towards things, and even though he doesn't seem appreciative at all. Places to find him. He pretty much spends all his time in either the restaurant or the inn, and he will be alone in either place as much as possible. And he will just be a sulky boy. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> your divorcing, will your spouse divorce you if you haven't talked to them in about three years? Um... I don't think we're going to have divorce. I've been kind of back and forth on it, but I do not think we're going to do that. So yeah, you can technically talk to them, not talk to them for three years if you want. <laughs> and yes, colorfully minded picture time. Yes, I want to show off that fan art. Thank you for reminding me because um, I have a thousand things on my mind. Um, oh, oh, I know this reference already. All right, I'm going to do voices. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it. Okay, listen up. We have a security uh, situation here. As you know, when we reach the location, I'll be conducting a security sweep. Also, from now on, we'll be using code names. You can dress me as Eagle One. Randy, code name, been there, done that. Claude is currently doing that. <laughs> Will has happened once in a dream. <laughs> Just because if I had to pick a chick, <laughs> Linda is Eagle Two. <laughs> Linda's the perfect one for that. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. Oh, her art is really good. I agree. I, I really enjoy this. Sorry for messing up actually showing it. Floofy Black Sheep is Tumblr name. So if anybody wants to follow wonderful friend person of Colorfully Minded, you should. Because actually I'm going to do that right now. Hooray! I sometimes forget I have a Tumblr. <laughs> I'm going to have to go. Uh, hopefully you'll join me next week for more exploits into me talking about how terrible I am at Portal. And uh, I guess I will see you.